Okay, let me apologize if I start coughing. But Isaiah chapter 46. Bell. That's a Babylon God. That's the same Bell. Bell and the dragon of the Apocalypse books that are not authorized by God founding Catholic Bible. It's not one book of the King James Bible authorized by God where the name of the book is given to another deity. Unless you're Catholic. <coughs> Bell bowed down. Nebo, again, if you can see the thing here, it's a Babylon deity. Literature and science. There's America. There's America. Mercury. The planet Mercury. <clears throat> Stupid. They're false, they're false gods. They're idols. Or upon the beast. They've got to be carried. They're such great gods they, that you have to carry them. They have to put them on beasts. And you find that today, when I grew up in New London, Connecticut, they used to pray Mary's statue around. They prayed these gods around in India and in foreign lands. They carried the, the dope pope around. They have... Eyes they can't see, they have feet they can't walk. And upon the cattle. Cattle. Cattle is a great god of America. Texas. The Golden Arches. Spell chicken. Fast food industry. Money making industry. Hindus. The Indian, the India of India have the sacred cow. So the sacred cow is carrying the sacred sacred idols. Your carriages, that's wagons, were heavy laden. They're heavy idols. <laughs> they are a burden to weary bees. The beasts, the animals can't even hold the great weight of these idols. <clears throat> they stoop. They bow down together. They could not deliver the burden, but themselves are gone into captivity. Babylon. Babylon will be conquered by the Medes and the Persians. Great gods. Very great gods that the enemy comes under the river that they drained, where's the river god? And overnight, during Daniel's time, the city of Babylon is destroyed. And yet these same <coughs> losers, these same losing gods of the Babylonians is found in the Baptist churches today. Shame. Hearken unto me, O house of Jacob, O raiment of the house of Israel, which are born by me. God has carried Israel. Israel doesn't carry God. God carries Israel. Man carries their images and idols. They're gods. The only life I have, the only being I have is because of God. Without God, I would be absolutely nothing. And without me, God would always be God. <clears throat> Which are born by me from the belly. I guess there is life in the womb. There it is. From the belly, from the womb. Because it says, which are carried from the womb. God says of Jacob, he says, I've seen you inside Rebekah's belly. Israel, I've seen you in Leah's belly. I've seen you in Rachel's belly. I've seen you in the, the, the handmaid's belly. I believe Jeremiah, God says, I've called you from the belly, from your mother's womb. <clears throat> you better believe there's life in the womb. 
And even to your old age, from the womb to old age, I am he. That's what Jesus kept saying. That's what kept angering the Jews. I am. I am the bread of life. I am the water of life. I am the shepherd. I am the father of one. Even to your whore heads, it's white hair. Will I carry you? See, God has not given up in Israel. It's a heresy, it's a Pharisee for someone to tease God's all done with Israel. It's funny, you know, I listen to, I, I have the e-books I listen to before I go to sleep. And I'm listening to now uh, the Civil War. And it's funny, when we were at Shiloh, when we were at Corinth, it's funny how I hear all the biblical name, not because we're the biblical Christianity nation of America. No, we were the new Israel. America tried to steal the blessings of Israel because God is all finished with Israel. So God has moved its light from us to the black hats of the congregational great church that would be the great nation of Israel that God's all finished with to the Mormon church where you know God's all finished with Israel and on to us. Don't you be fooled about America being a Christian nation when America tried to steal the blessings of Israel. Look at your original cities of America and notice they got the biblical name and not because we were a biblical nation, but we tried to steal the name. We tried to stay, steal the loco. We tried to steal everything that was of Israel. To whom will you liken me? All right. <clears throat> there are some that liken God to an Italian with long flowing hair. There are some that liken God to, uh, you know, a Hollywood. There are some that liken God to a hippie. There are some that liken God to a mother, a woman. There's some that liken God to a big fat man with a big belly button. There's some that liken God to an elephant, to a, to look at all the count. Do an internet search of Google and idols and imageries and do it under images and see all the different things. Who are you going to liken God and make me equal? Romans chapter 1, Paul writes and says, they have changed God, the creator, to a creation of man. They serve the creation more than they serve the creator. Darwin has made God of America into a monkey. <coughs> Excuse me. The fact is the very education system of American public school system, where we're going to teach evolution or we're going to teach creation, was called the monkey trial. And who won? There are some people who liken God to save the whale, save the trees. That's not God. That's his creation. And you'll find that in Romans chapter 1. And compare me, that we may be alike. And again, it, it's all these gods. It, it's the God of man. It's the God of woman. It's the God of the animals. It's the God of nouns. Versus the almighty God. And again, Paul says they worship the creation more they serve the creator. But what are you going to like it? And this is the same very thing that Israel is involved in, Judah is involved in. They're involved in idolatry. And we'll see that in Jeremiah, they are actually worshiping the queen of heaven long before Mary is born. How do you get that? How do we get the church that's founded upon Jesus Christ and the very worship of the queen of heaven 
It's found years and years and years and years before Jesus Christ, before even Mary herself was born. How do you find in the book of Judges a man has hired a man to be his father, though he's a son, and gives him clothes of raiment? And years and years and years before Jesus Christ is born. <clears throat> This likens to, to Jeremiah chapter 10. But not the Christmas tree. They lavish gold out of a bag. That's not likened to Jesus. It was silver out of the bag. And weighed silver in the balance. And hired a goldsmith. And maketh a god. So here's a god made by man. Made in China. Made in Babylon. Made in Assyria. Religion is man-made. Jesus Christ is God approved. Imagine one day that they're making a God. Their God is going to stand before the God. The God of all the heavens and earth. You think their God is going to stand before God? You think the maker of these gods is going to stand before God? And fall it down, yea, they worship. And say, Jeremiah, well, that can't be the Christmas tree. We don't bow down before it. How do you order the tree? How do you check the presents underneath? How do you put the presents underneath the tree? You bow down. Listen, I come from a Catholic upbringing. I grew up as a Polish Roman Catholic. They bow down before the idols. That priest will take that host and turn to a Christ that's, that's nailed to the cross. And, you know, focus, focus. And worship the host. Don't you dare throw up the host. Because you have to gather it and eat it up later. And if you don't, I read to, this week, if you don't treat that host with respect, anathema, excommunicated. And if you're excommunicated from the Catholic Church, that means you don't go to heaven through them. That host, that cookie, that has not listed Jesus Christ in the ingredients, is a God. Not just gold, not just silver, wood, plastic. They bear him, the God, upon the shoulder. They carry him, the God. And set him in his place. That's what the Roman Catholic Church is. They have a specific place on the altar for the sacraments. For the host. For the wine. And they close the door on Jesus. And they don't let Jesus out to it's his time. I grew up in the religion. Now Jesus, you stay in the box. Until we need you. And if we got any problems, you're a meanie Jesus. We'll call upon your mother. Don't you fool me. Jesus has his place. And his place in the Catholic Church of the religion of today, I'm talking about, is he's still nailed to that cross, though the Bible says he's been taken down off the cross. Why would you have a Jesus still nailed to the cross? Because Jesus can't do nothing if he's nailed to the cross. He has no power nailed to that cross. He standeth from his place. He shall not be removed. Let's leave him there. When you put Mary in her half shell in your front lawn, you, she stays right there. You just clean her up. Yea, one shall cry unto him and plead. He cannot answer. Nor save him out of his trouble. You know, the devil will, will provoke those of the religion to think, oh, the mighty great power we have. Yeah, he's fooled them because even the Antichrist has that power calling down the magical forces. May the force be with the Antichrist and all that other mess. God has given Satan limited power. Over all kinds of things. Listen, it was the whirlwind that killed Job's family who sent the, the, the whirlwind. 
Satan did by the power of God. There was fire that came down out of heaven and burnt up some of Job's animals. Who did that? Satan by the power of God. But those gods will never answer your prayers. Those gods will never help you. They cried in, when we come to Jeremiah, Lord, will we ever get to that? Oh, queen of heaven, help us. The queen of heaven, help us. And Babylon comes and sacks Judah. Queen of heaven didn't answer. God just sat up in heaven like, well, God, ain't you going to help us? No, you called Mary. You called Asher. You called Ethbon. You called Errol. You called Tamu. I'm waiting for you to call on me. God ain't going to come in the name of a God. To help you out. Because God is not going to give his credit to somebody else. Remember this. Show yourselves men. <laughs> That's a word that needs to go out to this generation. Men are not men. They don't even know they're males. Bring it to mind. Bring it to thought. Again. Oh, ye transgressors. Sinners. Remember the former things of old. Remember who you were, Israel. Remember your church age. It's amazing today, the Baptist church, she has carried on to traditions of the Catholic church, not knowing that the Catholic church persecuted the Baptist church and killed the brethren. Fox's Book of Martyrs. And we are in the Baptist tradition of today of carrying out Eros, carrying out Esther, Carrying out the, the 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 religion of uh, of dead people, carrying out the the religion of Halloween, carrying out the religion of of Christmas. Friend, that came from Catholic. And when you got the Catholic traditions, you don't know church history. You got to go back and know church history. I had a pastor of a church tell me, "Well, but this is history." You're just reading what men wrote. And then he'll get up in the pulpit and say, well, you know, it's okay to listen to other men what they wrote. Contradiction, contradiction, contradiction. Contradiction. Remember who you were. I am God. The God of who, Israel? The God of your father, Abraham. The God of your father, Isaac. When Jacob fled from the presence of Esau, I'm the God of Jacob that met him. I'm the God of Joseph. <clears throat> and there's none else. I mean, we don't have the football God. We don't have the Tony God. We don't have the Oscar God. Oh, man, they took away Dr. Seuss. Oh, man, they're taking away Pepe La Pew. Will you put those gods away and worship God again? You know, it'd be amazing, and it could happen. What, what if they take your Bible away? I bet you if they took the Bible away from them, I bet they wouldn't raise enough stink like they did with Pepe La Pew. I bet they took the book away, the Holy Bible from I bet they, they raised more ruckus about Dr. Seuss than they would be Dr. God in his word. Christians don't care about the Bible. There's none else. I am God. Got it? There is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning. No other person can do that. God has already seen the great white throne judgment. God has already seen New Jerusalem, New Heavens and New Earth. How do you know? Because God told Jay, John. Jesus and his angel told John what the end will be even before the end of John's life. So write it down. Paul, I want you to write about the rapture. The rapture hasn't happened yet. God says, hey, I've seen the end. What makes your God different from religion? Because my God knows what happens in the very end. 
and has recorded it from the beginning. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. Be new. He knew at that point there would be new heavens and new earth and new Jerusalem. He knows the names of the names of the stars. He knows how many stars there are. You can't ask NASA has no idea what's on Mars. God knows what's on Mars. God knows what's on Pluto. If he's a planet today or if he'd be a planet tomorrow. That's a God. Why? Because he made it. And God knows it all going to be wiped away one day. And he declared that before it happened. Declaring the end from the beginning. From the ancient times, way, way, way back then. I uh, think Daniel calls them the ancient of time. The ancient times that Daniel says the ancient of time, God the Father. The things that are not yet done, prophecy. Horoscopes can only touch it a little bit. Gene Dixon could only touch it a little bit. Uh, uh, palm readers can only touch it a little bit. God, 100%. All the time, every time. Saying, my counsel shall stand. Well, look at verse 7. It said, the idols, he standeth. And yet God's word standeth more than the idols will stand. The, the idols are going to fall down one day. You know, they built that dam over there in Egypt. And they, uh-oh, we got trouble. Call the construction teams in because the water is rising and the gods of the Egyptians are getting flooded out. We got to move the gods. You think a little flood is going to bother God? I will do all my pleasure. Look at that. God has pleasure, and it's a holy pleasure. You know what a Christian's pleasure is? We're going to Mickey Ratland. Woo! Yeah, wear your mask in a hot weather and pass out. And have a chance of getting COVID-19. God who made COVID-19. While your church house is closed. You know, it's God's pleasure the church houses are closed. Why? You ain't visiting them anyway. God, the gas prices are so high. Yeah, well, you haven't been using your gas for the glory of God and Jesus Christ, have you? God, we want the gas prices low. Why? So you can go back and sin some more? You want to go back and waste it on yourself rather than use it for the honor and glory of Jesus Christ? It's only going to get worse. <coughs> Calling the ravenous bird from the east. God's in control of the birds. He's in control of an ass. One day, here's a man riding an ass. Hey, what'd you hit me for? And if I, you know, if I had, I would have killed. He doesn't, guy doesn't realize he's talking to an ass. And God opened the mouth of that ass, and that ass said everything that God told him to say. And nothing more and nothing less. You open the mouth of an ass of a human, and God, you know what Jesus said? Every idle word shall a man give an account thereof. Open the mouth of an ass of a human. Did you see what, did you know what she did? You saw what she wore? Yeah, you see, you know, her children. Her husband was in church this Mm -hmm. We have a God that's in control of the animal. God told some birds, he said, listen, get some food. Don't you eat it. You bring it to my prophet. He's right over there. Mr. Big Fish, I got a job for you. I got a nice meal for you. All right, now that you had your meal, now that he's died inside your belly, now vomit him up. That whale said, you. God said, go over this spot and vomit him right there. God himself got on a donkey never been ridden before. He gets on that donkey, and that donkey takes him right through Jerusalem. The man that executed my counsel from a far country. 
Yea, I have spoken it, God said. When God speaketh, I will also bring it to pass. What God says will happen. Prophecy. Faith. I have purposed it. I will also do it. See, that, that's faith. That is faith of Hebrews 11.1 1 before Hebrews 11.1 1 was written. There it is. Hearken unto me, ye stout hearted. Now he's talking to the nation of Israel. That is the characteristic God has of the Jewish person. You are hard hearted. You are a stiff necked people, and they are. And God says to everybody, you better love that Jew. You better bless that Jew. They're my people. But well, Lord, didn't you see all their history? Yep, but they're my people. What does the nation of Israel teach us in the Old Testament and Almighty Jehovah? God is, God is not willing that any should perish, but he's long-suffering. The attitude to the nation of Israel in the Old Testament shows us God's long-suffering. That are far from righteousness. <laughs> you ain't right. Second Advent. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. <laughs> I've been sick. I bring near my righteousness. Shall not be far off. 712 years later. <laughs> my salvation, that's Jesus Christ, shall not tarry. About 712 years later. And don't forget, you got to give him the births, about 712 years. Then you got to give him 30 years of ministry. Then you got to give him three and a half years of ministry. And then at three and a half years, you got to give him the death, burial, and resurrection. And then however long the church age is, because Israel rejected the Messiah. And we don't know how long the church age is. Because the church age hasn't come to the end yet. And then you got to add seven years of tribulation. And then at the end of the seven years, you got the salvation that comes on a horse, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ. Then the salvation of Israel as a nation corporate. I will place salvation in Zion, Jerusalem, Jesus Christ on David's throne for Israel, Israel. My God, my God saying, glory. Now, that doesn't sound like God's finished with Israel.